Hey guys and gals, what's crack lacking? Spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Oh man, it has been hot today. Uh, this morning, I went out on my back porch, me and my father-in-law, and we done some more work on that. But I think we stopped about 10 o'clock, because that was it. The heat is just too much today. Um, we got up to, I think, 102 or 101 and felt like 107 outside that's what the weather said i'm gonna tell you it felt like 400 degrees outside not a whole lot going on outside today but I gotta come out here and uh feed up animals i've had uh quite a few people ask me um spicy how do you on your chicken eggs which here's my coop um on my chicken eggs how do you how do you uh, store your chicken eggs? How do you clean your chicken eggs? We're going to talk about that today. And also, I want to kind of give an update on my chicken coop. Uh, subscriber of mine, real awesome person, L. Stewart asked. Um, she wanted an update on chicken coop, how, how everything was going. Um, chicken coop is doing excellent. Let me flip you around right quick, and we'll talk about it. I did have another accident. Uh, no chickens were harmed thankfully and uh i'll tell you what happened all right there's my girls you can see my uh my hog panel it is doing really good still haven't got my my uh, yard built yet but i'm working on it i'm working on it let me show you what happened as you can see i got a track going all the way around my chicken coop again and um here on the back, on the inside of the hog panel, I put up the chicken wire. Well, I had something get in and tear all of that chicken wire off. You can see it all there and hanging down there. Um, and I found out what it was. My neighbor, my brother-in-law that lives right over there, they were uh, taking care of a, um, what kind of dog was it? A Siberian Husky for their son. And I did not think about this at all. I didn't, uh, she wasn't even in my radar or something that would get into my chicken coops. One night my wife walked, walked out on the uh, front porch and the dog was out here chewing off the back uh, chicken wire trying to get in. Luckily she couldn't get in because of the hog panel and um nothing was harmed but still i didn't even think it was that dog so i'm thinking that's what got my chickens the first time broken to the back because she went straight for the back again ow standing in ants she went straight for the back again but she couldn't get in and no chickens was harmed so that's good so that tells me that the hog panel that i put around the chicken coop is working excellent oh uh, let me feed up my pig right quick and feed up the chickens miss piggy she's up there waiting to be fed no no baby pigs yet we're uh still waiting on that she is getting fat but i'm gonna feed the pig up and i'll feed up the chickens and then we'll talk about how i uh you know if i clean do i clean my eggs and how do i store my eggs so hold on one second all right so first off um i do not wash my eggs uh, when a chicken lays an egg uh there's a film around the outside of the egg and if you wash that off um you either have to put some kind of mineral oil on your egg to protect the uh the egg white and yolk on the inside of the shell from going bad or you're going to have to put them in the refrigerator and i do not put my eggs in the refrigerator so i do not wash my eggs but i keep my eggs clean and i'll show you how i do that um as y'all seen before um i have pine shavings in here in my chicken box in my uh my nesting boxes and that allows me whenever they start when they come walking in if they have any if they have any dirt on their feet then it gets knocked off and um, they'll come in and lay their eggs. Most time it's over in this box, but they do lay in this box a couple times. But 
with this uh, pond shavings, my eggs, well, besides a couple feathers, my eggs stay clean. I don't have no poop on them or anything like that. So, my eggs stay clean. And that helps me out a lot. I don't, uh, the only time that I wash my eggs is right before I go to cook eggs or I go to boil my eggs. I will wash them off before like I boil them. I wash them off before I put them in the, uh, the water. And I wash them off before I like, fry me up some eggs because if there is something on there, I don't want to drop them in my, in my cooking. So let me get these eggs and get inside and I'll show you how I store my eggs. Very simple. All right, so this is just a, uh, a plastic ice cream bucket, and you can see all my eggs. Uh, this is the this is where I keep my eggs in. This is where I store my eggs in. I just leave it on the counter. Uh, they'll get to room temperature, depending on whatever temperature is inside. Usually it's about 77 degrees, and those will last as long as I need them to. Um, usually I don't let them go over about three weeks. And just like you've seen in a video I done on how to boil hard egg, uh, how to hard boil an egg, if you haven't seen that video yet, a little eye card pop up for that. Um, before I cook any of the eggs, I will always uh, float test my eggs. Uh, but like I said, I don't usually keep them no more than three weeks, and without washing them, they will last three weeks here on the counter. Uh, if I did if I did wash them, like I said, I have to use some kind of mineral on the shell to uh, keep the egg yolk and egg white from rottening, or I have to put them in the refrigerator. Doing this, it just allows me to keep them a little bit longer, and I know how fresh they are. So that just that's just a little short video to answer a couple questions that I've had about how I store my eggs. Uh, and that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, give this thing a thumbs up. Those things are awesome. And I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.